So today we're going to do uh, mild blue mushrooms. Um, loads of you have probably had it before. Um, it's been on the menu since we opened. Uh, and then moving forward, when we get even more bored, we're going to be cooking uh, some other bits, new bits that are going to be on the menu. We're busy here at Brian House <laughs> making lots of changes to the house. So. Right, so yeah, we're going to make mild blue mushrooms. Uh, it's really easy, really straightforward. Um, I'll just quickly whiz through uh, what we do and then we're going to be able to eat it, which is the best bit. Cool. Right. So um, we'll start off with some flat mushrooms. Um, I'm doing two portions because there's obviously two of us, um, but you can do it for as many as you like. We start by just um, peeling off the, the skin. We don't want that bit. Um, we just want the actual mushroom. Um, some people don't eat the stalk, but I, I sort of like it, so I leave it in. Um, but you don't have to if you're used to not having it. We, start, we need to get the mushrooms in first because they take the longest. Um, um, you need some butter. Uh, I use salted, but you can use unsalted if you want. Um, and uh, you need to pop a bit of butter in each one. Actually, I'll put that in that one because that's slightly bigger. Uh, and you need to season them up really well. So a um, good bit of um, salt. I use molded um, sea salt. Nice. So wh um, wh why, why do we call these Marlborough mushrooms? I think it's quite obvious, but... Because we're in Marlborough. <laughs> use some um, mixed Italian dried herbs, but you can use fresh herbs if you've got them in the garden. Um, this is just a mix of um, the oregano, uh, thyme, um, parsley, um, but they work really well for this. So, um, so you just whack these in the oven um, on about 200, hot-ish, uh, and just leave those. They'll take about 20, 25 minutes to do. Right, so the next job we need to do is um, just um, prepare the rest of the mushrooms. So um, I'm using um, chestnuts and uh, button, but you can use whatever you like, whatever you can get hold of. Are these mushrooms from Marlborough? They are. Are they? Or are they from our local Marlborough <laughs> co-op? <laughs> mushrooms before, um, yep. so it doesn't take long anyway. Right, so in the pan you need some more butter. That's what makes them taste good. Unfortunately, it's a holiday treat. Seasoning again, really important. And again, some more, I put a few more dried herbs in. And to stop the, um, the butter burning, you need to add, or add some other type of oil in as well. Because if you don't, it'll just burn. Um, so I'm using a bit of olive oil, but you can use rapeseed, anything. Uh, so get it on a nice high heat, get it going which we always use sourdough. Where do we um, get our bread from? Uh, the bread we buy from the local bakery down in Sulcombe, um, and it's a really good sourdough. Next thing to do is prep up the goat's cheese. Um, go for, if I can get it in our farm shop, there's a really nice Devon goat's cheese. Um, this one's nice and ripe. Um, but again, you can use which, whichever. Um, Obviously, they've got varying degrees of strength. Yeah, cut it in half. You want a nice nice portion for both. Uh, this one's really ripe. Um, and then that's ready to put on the toast in a minute. What we're doing now, um, get them on a nice high-ish high heat. I'm gonna really cut them down so that you get a bit of a crisp on them. And they go nice and sticky. And... While they're doing they're about three or four minutes away, we'll get the toast on in the uh, toaster and get that going. So let's just run through all the main ingredients we need for this recipe. What, what, what are they, Scott? So you just need some butter, um, three types of the mushrooms you, you can choose, but make sure one of them is the flat mushroom because they're really good. You need some sourdough, you need goat cheese, and um, I, I mean, I use fresh herbs just to uh, garnish it, dress it, but you don't actually need those. So the mushrooms are nearly there, they're literally like this now, which is what we want. The toast is done, there we go, and so we just need to put the goat's cheese on the top of each one, like that, and that, and then we just want to get that goat's cheese nice and mel melted, so we pop that in the oven as well, just for a few minutes. Just while everything's cooking, I just thought I'd show you our view from our kitchen window. We are very privileged to have such a pretty village here in Marlborough. Um, yeah, we're just outside Sulcombe. Unfortunately, you can't smell it, but it's smelling delicious in here. Uh, 
so I'm just going to have a look at the um, goat cheese, and that's really nicely done now. So it's all, you don't want it too melted because it just disintegrates. And then the mushrooms aren't too far off now, so um, they're just going to be another few minutes. So we just pop this on the plate. I get the biggest one. You've got the biggest belly. <laughs> Quickly show you our breakfast room. We've been working really hard on it this week. Um, we put a new ceiling in. So um, yeah, we've got some extra shading for when it's nice and sunny in here. Um, and yeah, we've got a new menu. So um, there's a few new tasty treats, which Scott's gonna be showing you hopefully in the next up and coming weeks. Um, we've got a vegetarian um, options and um, a new vegan um, tasty treat. Um, but most importantly, I think he's got some pancakes, which um, I think he's going to demonstrate and show you in a few days' time. Right, this is ready now, so we can plate it up. So that's exactly what we want. The uh, butter started to go caramelised. They're really nicely cooked. These I've just put back on. They're actually ready. Tasty. And just put some fresh parsley garnish on the top. that's it. So that's how you make Marlborough mushrooms, really easy. Uh, and next time we're going to be making the something new off menu for this year, um, American pancakes with creme fraiche and um, fruit. <laughs>